Good morning, everybody. This is Pam Coey, and I just wanted to bring your attention to a few new things in my art and success website, which I'm uh, working on and really enjoying it. Uh, the whole purpose of art and success, uh, the website is to share some information with everybody out there who is interested in uh, working on their art and uh, just other topics that I've learned over the years that I'd like to share with you. So. In time, there will be some free tutorials and online courses and other content. But for right now, it's, it's a very new thing for me. <laughs> there are a lot of learning curves, but um, I'm enjoying it because I, I love to learn. And so I just wanted to bring your attention to a couple new items that are now available. Um, I'll just walk you through my website as it is right now if you're not familiar with this. And I do encourage you, if you're not already uh, subscribed to this website, which is at www.artandsuccess.com that you scroll down and you fill out this little form and that way I'll be able to keep in touch with you when I have new information, new tutorials, uh, new courses, that kind of thing. And then when you do opt in here, you'll just put your first and last name in your email and then in your email box, I will send you this free studio guide, the five must have studio tools for less than $20. I know a lot of you have already done that. And I thank you for joining me. It's so much fun to have you here. So along the top, this is the home and then about click on that and you can see just a little bit of information. There's a video of me here telling a little bit about my story and why I've put together this website and then on the next link is create and that's going to be where you can right now take a look at my workshop schedule here's 2019 i recently updated that and then 2018 most of those workshops have already occurred so they've been grayed out but on the bottom i have my san miguel uh, workshop which is uh, has a few spots left as far as i know and then sometimes i'll put videos in this area under this link called create and again, I will populate this as I create new videos. The videos that are here, um, for the most part, uh, this will a lot of this will change as time goes on. Contact, um, of course, if you ever have any questions or a topic that you would like me to cover, then this would be a really great place for you to fill in your name, your email, and then this box, which says suggestion for art and success content, and then hit submit, and then it comes to me and I read your comment and I make note of it. These are the types of things that I need from, from all of you who are interested in basically telling me, sharing with me what it is you'd like to learn in your art practice, whether it's a technical thing or maybe it has more to do with you know, inspiration or finding your personal voice. There's so many topics that are universal. I think all artists would appreciate hearing a discussion about these topics. So I'm really just asking you to submit these topics to me. So the new items I just wanted to bring your attention to are a couple of things I've been really working hard on. Uh, one of them is um, an ebook, and I had never really done one before. I didn't uh, really know what it would take to make one, but the purpose was to share two really critical years in, in my life as an artist from 2015 and 2016. So these two years, some of you who know a little bit about my background, a lot of things happened. I was pretty much self-taught, you know, all the way up through say 2008. And then I went back to, uh, to graduate school and I got my MFA by 2010. And then, you know, I just continued to exhibit and teach and various things. And, but it was really the two most critical years that have really led to me having a YouTube channel and starting to give workshops, you know, not just nationally, but internationally. And a lot of, you know, a lot of things started to happen for me were really due to what happened in 2015 and 2016. And so I just wanted to bring your attention to this ebook. It's downloadable in three different formats. So when you click the black button, it'll take you to the next page. And then you'll see an image of what this ebook looks like. It's called Pamela Coey Studio Notes, Volume 1, and then 2015, 2016. And then you click it again, and that'll take you to the description. Here's a little synopsis of what it's about. Some of the key points are, it, it's basically an inside look at my studio, uh, both the studio that I had on Roaring Lion Road, which I eventually lost in the 2016 fire, and then I went on and I, I'm renting a, another studio. So it kind of has 
information and images of my old studio the way that was and I, I had my studios inside my home so the one you're looking at right now this is in our attached garage and you can kind of see there's a pretty narrow space and this is where I did my encaustic so there are uh, I had four different areas of our home that I was actually occupying and making art <laughs> And then after I lost those studios, I now have one larger studio, and I kind of explain that. So it's an inside look into the tools that I use, the mediums that I worked in, you know, what I was trying to do. And there's over 100 pages, and I'm calling it Studio Notes because it's largely based on all the things that, as an artist, I experienced from exhibitions to you know, preparing for those exhibitions, tips and, and how do I finish my painting. So it, there's a lot of images in this ebook that show paintings in various stages and how I solved problems that I had. And I kind of talk about it and show you snapshots of these things. And I did work in four mediums, which are all addressed in this ebook. So some of you may not know that I'm also an encaustic artist. I also work in encaustic monotype. I work in acrylic and mixed media. And most of what I've posted on YouTube is my cold wax and oil work. This ebook is kind of everything that's in it talks about what led to me starting to have, I guess when I started the YouTube channel, I had a lot of things that were starting to fall into place for me. So I think that this ebook is kind of an insight into two very critical and transformative years in my art life that allowed me to then go and do things that I really normally wasn't going to feel too comfortable with. It kind of gave me a little bit more courage, a little bit more strength, a little bit more confidence, which, you know, to do the things that I'm doing now, I look back and I look at everything that happened to me as being kind of a, a strengthening event in my life. So I wanted to share this with you. And I also talk about how I worked with Nicholas Wilton. I did a seven month uh, mentorship with him and that was very critical in my growth and I talk about that and also some international exhibits that I participated in and then of course the two years that I spent trying to work toward this very large exhibition that covered 2200 square feet at the Holter Museum which I documented in my catalog simply not you know when the fire happened that came right before the show so I lost some work and I, I had to scramble and get tools and supplies together. And anyways, that's all in here. I just wanted to share that with you. And here are just some little images you can see on the website. I've, I've picked some images just from the books. So you can kind of see what kind of content is in there, but there's just a few little uh, thumbnails in here. But again, paintings and stages and, and how I solved problems. I talk about this dragon in my studio, which essentially equates to the fear that I had to even walk into my studio and I had to overcome that and learning cold wax medium I worked with Lisa Pressman and Rebecca Crowell and I talk about those things and and how that really led to me loving this cold wax medium which I now have uh, done a lot of YouTube videos on as you know then the back cover so again there's that um, another new thing that I have here is my catalog used to be only offered in the soft cover version and a lot of you have ordered that and I thank you very much for that support. It was a long process to get this catalog made and I thought well you know not everybody can order a book and have it shipped to them so it is now also available. I'll just click on this image and then click again. Uh, here's an image of the catalog now that's available as a PDF download so what happens is if you order this book, you just add it to your cart. And if you order it, you get an email that has a link to the PDF so that you can have this on your computer and you can flip through all the pages. Again, I've got some images right at the website that gives you kind of an insight as to what's in there, but they're all full color and there's over 60 pages, uh, 45 full color images in there, et cetera, et cetera. So I just wanted to show you that. And again, there's a little bit of a few images that refer to the fire and how that impacted this uh, very large exhibition. So with that, another just real, really wanted to draw your attention to, if you decide you would like to purchase this, what happens is when you order it, you'll get an email and the email has three downloadable formats. One is PDF, and one is meant for your Kindle, and then one is meant for those of you who might have a Mac, and it's called iBooks. So 
if you decide to download the PDF, then it's going to look like this. So when you click on the link in your email and it downloads to your computer, you, this is what you're going to see. So with PDF, you just hit the down key and with PDF, basically here you see this is the table of contents and it's clickable. So that was an interesting thing to me. I, was, I didn't even know that you could do that, but so let's say you're trying to find something and you just go back to the table of contents here and you can easily find what it is that you were trying to, to look up. So that's the PDF format. And then it's also available in the iBook form. And that's this one. You'll see the little icon here when you download it. Open it up. Here again, you have a clickable table of contents. In this case, yeah, you just go through it and it has all kinds of images. And lastly, here is the Kindle. Uh, version for those of you who have Kindle either on your laptop or perhaps you have it on your iPhone and your iPad will have a clickable table of contents here so you can search around and and open up the various links that's that so anyways I just wanted to bring your attention to these new items and I hope you're having a great day thanks very much bye bye